Hello everyone, my name is Ink, and this is a very simple crash course of how to use Quest Creator. Before you start configuring your first quest, you need to know about the basic structure of a quest. A quest, basically an event, is made up of one or more branches, and a branch, basically a path, is made up of one or more objects. There are three main types of objects, player objects, server objects, and some special ones that we'll be dealing with next time. Player objects are actions the player has to do in order to proceed. For example, player block place requires the player to place some blocks. Player chat requires the player to say something in the chat. Server objects are the actions the server has to do for the quest players. For example, server title send sends a Minecraft title to the players. Server commands perform performs one or more commands for the player. Now that wasn't that hard, was it? Now let's hop into the folders and start configuring our first quest. Inside Plugins, Quest Creator, Quests, Models, you should see three example quests. I'm going to be doing this the lazy way. Copy and paste any of the example quests and rename it into the name you want. Make sure to not include spaces. Open the file and delete all the comments and everything under Branches. You should get something like this. The branches and objects are the core of any quest, so we'll be skipping the quest settings and the GUI. Let's start writing the first branch. This is the format for branches in version 5. The name here could be anything as long as it doesn't have spaces. Name on the second line could be anything. It doesn't have to be the same as the name above either. Starts directly tells Quest Creator to start this branch when this quest starts. You can start multiple branches when a quest starts and create cool results. Mandatory tells Quest Creator to end the quest when this branch is completed. Can be useful in some cases. The default is false. This setting is optional. If you want this to be false, then you can skip this line entirely. Starts add tells Quest Creator to start the branch from this object. For this quest, let's do the following. And now we'll put our objects under objects. All available objects are documented on the wiki page. Let's use player jump for this example since it's super easy. Under objects, I'll add the following. This object requires the player to jump twice, but if you leave it like that, this will create two problems. Number one, when the quest starts, the player wouldn't know what to do. You never gave the player any instructions. Number two, when this object ends, Quest Creator won't know what to do next, so we need to add more information to this. These settings can be applied to all objects. All of these are optional. If you don't want it, skip it. Name and progress name are used in some situations, such as slash QC progress. Message and sound appears to the player before the object starts. Post message and post sound appear to the player after the object ends. Location is sometimes required, depending on the object type, and can be formatted in many different ways. Check the wiki for more information. Go to tells Quest Creator where to go after the object ends. To another object, object, object name. To another branch, branch, branch name. End quest in success, quest success. End quest in failure, quest fail. After that info dump, let's add more to our object jump twice. We've successfully configured our first quest. After you go back into your game and do slash QC reload, you'll realize that your job ain't over yet. You'll probably get a message saying quest something has no registration or activator. That basically means there's currently no way to start the quest. Here's where the other files come into play. The categories.yml from previous versions of Quest Creator has been split into the following three. Activators.yml is the place you create different activators, or ways to start a quest. Registration.yml is the place you bind a quest to one or more activators. Groups.yml is the place you group multiple quests and link GUIs to them. We're not touching the groups.yml file today, but we'll be getting into the other two. Opening up Activators.yml, you should already see Activator Enabled already there. That is one of the simplest activators that allows you to start a quest from slash QC list. Now open up registration.yml. You should see the three example quests already there. 
Simply follow the format and add your quest to the list. The first line is your quest name, the file name without .yml. Then put activators and activator enabled, just like the example quest. Save it, hop back in game, and do slash QC reload. If you did everything right, you shouldn't see any errors in your game or your console. Do slash QC list, and you'll see the four quests. Click the start button beside your quest name, and you did it! You've created your first quest in Quest Creator. Thanks for watching.